It's hard for a lot of the kind of younger generation to realise that there was a time when YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and just social media full stop just didn't exist. Um, and in that dark time was when I set about kind of launching a record label and my first album. And the idea of like a UK hip hop artist really breaking into the mainstream or really having a serious career in the way that we've seen so many of us do in the last decade still at that point seemed kind of ridiculous. We all knew we could do it, but no one knew quite how, because it hadn't really been, been, been done yet. You had So Solid, and that was more of a kind of sort of grime garage thing. You had obviously people like my sister and Craig David and others break through. Um, but it felt a little bit like uncharted territory. And the way you got heard at that point was, was via a vehicle called Channel U, because the radio didn't play UK hip hop. And even the main hip hop DJs didn't really play UK hip hop. They have to now. Um, so back then it was very, very challenging. Um, and I was in a you know, challenging space personally. I'd just come from, I was in Cyprus, uh, where I'd set up my first business, which was running a restaurant, where I got my aunties to cook. It was called Aunties Cuisine. Um, you know, that was, I learned a lot. It wasn't a runaway financial success, but I learned a lot um, in terms of managing a business. Then we'd set up Real Estate Records in 2004. And so really going into the first album, I was nervous, but excited. I felt like, I'd studied the craft of, of, of hip hop, I'd listened to the classic albums. I'd, I mean, I was, that, I was that kind of geek in school where I loved hip hop so much, I wrote out all the lyrics to all 28 tracks on Wu-Tang Forever and I annotated them and everything and researched some stuff on it. Like I was that deep into the lyricism. So I was really, really excited. And the debut in hip hop always is seen as, you know, the seminal kind of statement. I'd released a mixtape before that, I'd released a couple of videos. And so I was excited, but, um, but nervous, you know, healthily nervous. I'd, I'd had a couple of videos on Channel U. There was a little bit of a buzz, not like a raw. And then obviously with, with my sister having been, you know, so mainstream successful, I tried very hard to carve out my own identity and make sure people understood that I'd always been rapping. This wasn't some gimmick I was trying to do because now my sister was on television and, and very successful. Um, and so I always tried to carve out my own identity. So it was an interesting time. Mm -hmm. 